yard care and it is the time of year to be out doing your spring cleanup so let me show you how to cut back cat mint in spring here we go so cat mint is an herbaceous perennial and that means that everything that grew last year dies back all the way to the ground so let's take a look so as you can see these are the stems that grew last year and if we snap them back, they're dry and brittle all the way back to the base of the plant. And you can see these new little leaves that are growing are growing on stems that are not connected to these brown stems from last year. They're coming up straight from the crown of the plant at soil level. So when you cut this back, the best thing to do is just come in and cut back these brown stems as close to the ground as possible without cutting the new stems that are growing this year. Now one way to do that is to come and tuck your cuts a little bit lower than the stems of the new growth. And that's really a good thing to do. Or if you're, you're really pressed for time and you need to just do it quickly, you can cut everything just slightly above the height of this year's growth. And that'll look a little awkward for a little while, but then these new stems will grow and then they'll cover up all of that old growth. So just to reiterate, what you want to do is you want to get off as much of last year's growth as possible without cutting this year's growth. So this is a technique that you can use on a lot of herbaceous perennials. And the thing to do is just come in and try to make sure that the way that the plant grows is that last year's growth is dead and brittle all the way to the base of the plant. And sometimes you need to move away the dead leaves covering the plant just to be able to see what you're doing. So here's a good example. You see this is a, a dead stem and here's new growth. And if we come in and cut it as low as possible, that's good because it gives the plant plenty of space to grow. The more of the brown stuff that you remove from your plants, the healthier they look. Now, it's not really that the plant isn't healthy if it has brown stems on it, but it just looks more healthy to, to human eyes. It looks tidier as well. Okay, we're getting close here. Oh, look how much this has already grown. How nice. Spring is here. Okay, there we are. Okay, this plant is ready to go for 2014. And that's how you cut back catmint in spring. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.